That's right. What's in the middle? That's the X-ray out of the Me Dion that's on the right. The older Mona Lisa, this is the newest painting out there. It is a lost painting that's no longer lost. This is the younger Mona Lisa. That's a child, 17 years old. That's a mature woman. She's most likely about 47 years old. That's my estimate at this time. Until I get it down more and what's hidden in the painting. This so happens to be a diary of Leonardo da Vinci's works. It has trillions of images that's in it. If you follow my over 700 YouTubes, you'll know how the numbers come, that I've figured out how he makes it that many images, more than pixels that would be in a TV, and smaller than a pixel. This particular image right here, not only did I show you the x-ray, is the signature. The signature of Leonardo da Vinci that wraps around the Mona Lisa's face. It actually has a man dead center like he's fishing or the boy that sits in the moon. It also has a shaft of that looks of the symbol of harmony. He has a man coming off the feather of the uh, L uh, hanging off sideways with other littles. He's got all individuals that are floating throughout the stars that are watching him while he signs. If you take a look at the circumference of the circle of the stars, it comes out the circumference of the Mona Lisa. And it goes on and on and on. I have plenty of these things in my YouTubes and I wish you uh, to um, watch. I have two good, you, two good ones coming out. Uh, and plus, not only that, I've got over 3,800 images. This particular image is also of the um, uh, Mona Lisa, which has been transformed. Let me show you when you take the x-ray, uh, I mean this, this image in which was transformed to get the colors out, you'll see that the face of the Mona Lisa is there, but you have this icon with the shaft. That is the same icon of the shaft, and when you stick this particular one up in there, you'll see which got shifted because of so much load up. Uh, forgive me, I didn't uh, double check my work on that. And, you, and you'll see how it overlays. Now, what comes out to be easier for it to see, if I do it and vice versa, I don't think it does it. Well, it does somewhat. You, you do, but I do have another color scheme that's in here besides this one that is hidden in, in these works that I turned to black. And that's not the one, but let me just continue here for a second. And that's not the one. You gotta see it, I'm telling you. Don't give up on me, it's coming. It's gonna overlay on that so beautiful because I transformed it and I think an invert. And it, because inverting it actually changes it to be a more buoyant, here it is, for you to see, okay? Okay, there it is right here, same image that was transformed, okay, of the much bright one, which was very hard to see. And then when you lay it over the top, it's the same, even though it's a little smaller. Let me reduce this one for you, for you to see in a, in a sense, so it actually gets into uh, the actual size. And then we lay this over. Well, I'm gonna have to do it in reverse. Okay, let me kick it down. There it is. You can see how the shaft fits exactly in it. You can see the outcome of the guy that goes through here. Okay, and you can actually see the curvature of how the L will move across the room. And the reason why there's offsets on it, you can see this guy, the reason why there's offsets on it is because he makes his images move across the room. He's a very, very tricky guy. Leonardo da Vinci is trickiest. You're not gonna find anybody trickier than Leo. Now, if you actually look at the man that's like on the moon, excuse me, you also see another stars that are breaking through and he does a bigger one. And that's what this image is. It's this little signature, then a bigger signature, then even a bigger signature. And by the time you're all done with Leonardo da Vinci, you end up with the signature that ends up being the whole painting of the Mona Lisa or the Medeon. 
because the median of this sim of this signature is located right here microscopic that you cannot see with the human eye not even a surgical microscope and that's the truth there's also another particular image I wanted you to see that if you got right here this particular you'll see that um, you can overlay this image over the face for the same curvature of the face of the turn okay so Leo makes his works move across the room so it's his face his painting is signatures along with cartoons along with others and another proof of this particular piece that is going to be for you to see is another piece of this and this piece it was blown up larger for you earlier until I reduced it for the main shot but let me show you what it actually comes out to fit in here when you put this image this is the one that had the x-ray and you overlay it in here it's too big sorry I'm trying fast I know you guys are busy and with that you know we're almost done here but you can see the circumference of the Mona that's bleeding through okay you can see where the, the Mona was and you can see this particular piece is this piece you can see the eye that's trying to bleed through the eye that's trying to bleed through um, Leonardo da Vinci is like again a very tricky hidden individual that I don't know how he does it in a sense with a great member well I do know how he does some of it he does it with one two three ABC's and he numbers it's actually paint by numbers I know it sounds kind of ironic but if you follow my 700 YouTubes it'll give you a little indication that he knows what he's doing obviously or he wouldn't have been able to do what he does did but you can see how the Mona actually conflicts you get it in the right size and it actually becomes a where the eyes fit and, and and so on you can you can see how he floats her between cheeks images the little strides he would move the eyes back and forth that's Leo for you this is actually a true blue hit and it gets pretty pretty wild with Leo you can actually take this one I bet you and you can probably flip it 180 and then you would end up with you whoops well, let me reverse it back just one more I, I bet you you would end up with this 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 item here of his um, doily that uh, so happens to be I got him uh I got him uh, hidden in here somewhere boom 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 oh gotta go one more uh, we'll go uh, counter one more 90 he's very tricky okay so now you got we are we had this image we had this image and we had that image didn't we oh boy oh boy is this killing me oh here it is okay then what you do is you open it and then you spring it down you see where I'm going with it and then what you have is not that one image in that one particular area now you got this particular image that is here that represents this over here but in a smaller sense because I've been reducing it but if you put that up there you can see the circumference of the Mona also bleeding through so when we were done with it we were originally on this one then we flipped it for this one flip-flop and I'm sure he has the Mona here he has the Mona here he has the Mona here I, he has it everywhere you can see the circles of where he, uh, he hides and he's a very 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 tricky man and you can see that without a doubt but 
here's something real quick for you to see. If you pay attention to this and the Mona, how the river of the Mona flows through. If you see right here, this, this particular, the snake, which is the backwards S, well, that snake is the same as this twist that he gives. There's an opening, there's, you can see, you can see how it twists, and he leaves a little block, but he leaves a little opening. Then he kind of blocks it a little more, but he leaves a little opening, and he flows it. And you can see how he leaves this wider gap. Leonardo da Vinci is extremely talented, okay? Uh, Code Man, there's, there's, there's so many images that's not even funny. Don't forget, I showed you the x-ray. I showed you the image in which matches my signature. I showed you a little bit of trick of Leonardo da Vinci. The M stands for Melzi Francisca. The L for Lisa stands for Leonardo da Vinci. You spell out Lisa and use the A in the Mona and it spells out Sali. You need to follow my YouTubes. Tell a teacher. Teach a teacher. Get a triple A plus. And I'm going to tell you, if you say to your mother, your father, your brother, your sisters, your loved ones, your lover, um, all your associates, Facebook, Twitter, anybody you can think of in which you want to brag of your knowledge of this, that you have found the greatest painting on the planet, do so. And while you do that, do me a favor. Take that broken finger and and mend that heart that in which you're not able to go out and party. It's keep your social distance, wash your hands, and uh, um, wear a mask. And God bless the whole world, universe, and the heavens. And you have a beautiful, beautiful night. And this was only supposed to be a two-minute video. I can't help myself. This thing's awesome. In Jesus' name, amen.